Okay, if this doesn't work, then we're going to switch over. There we go. I found somebody will take something. Nope, oh, even the little one got off. All right, we might find the answer here. Yeah, we found the answer. <laughs> there we go. Nice little male crappie. We tried a bu little bug. Oh, there he goes. All the way in. Come on. There we go. We tried a little spider, a little fuzzy thing. Tried a spider. Tried a little rubber body. And now I try a little piece of rubber worm. This is actually Berkeley power bait. Threw that on. I think we found something the crop will hit. I guess one fish doesn't make a pattern yet, does it? Well, they're coming up after it, but I can see them coming up after it. They just don't want to quite commit to it. There we go. He ran with it a little bit and he took off with it. Come here, buddy. There we go. There we go. Crappie number two, huh? You should come to my little worm, did you? Yeah. I'll tell you what, these crappie aren't real fast at this. I think we're going to move over. I got a couple spots where I think I can find some bluegill. I got the feeling the bluegill might be a lot more agreeable than the crappie are, huh? There we go. That'll work. No, it's not a gill. Ah, decent gill. Switch back to the floaters. All right, nice size gill. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> you might stay right here, huh? <laughs> yeah, dude. If those were 14 inch crappie, I wouldn't move. Yeah, there you go. I tried them over the other lake. They weren't hitting. And they weren't that big. What's that? I said I tried that over on the other side, but the crappie weren't that big and they weren't hitting. I couldn't get them to hit. Yesterday it was fine. Today they won't touch anything. Really? So. We did Wanahoo on Friday. I'd say most of the crappie there were, that we got were about nine, ten, ten and a half, something like that. They were all out in the trees. Oh, those Yeah, we were about 10, 12 feet of water. Oh, wow. And they were all right off the trees. Okay. But now that was all females. Oh, was it really? Everyone was female. But now, yesterday I was in one of the lakes on the other side. The males were just right up like this. Really? I probably picked up a dozen males with a jig under a bobber. 
just bringing it back. Now today I went to the same spot. They're all there. I can see them. They won't touch anything. I ran four or five jigs through. They wouldn't touch it. I came back with a fly rod. No. I think I caught three with a fly rod. Oh, did you? That was it. Did you try any minnows or no? No, uh-uh. Yeah, uh, we, we got minnows. Ironically enough, the one thing I caught over there on, on uh, crappie was jigs. Oh, really? <laughs> so go, go figure. Yeah. That's, that's the way they work some days. Well, good luck. Yeah, thanks, brother. There we go. There we go. About the same size, decent size, just palm sized bluegill. Not as big as we were catching the other day, but hey, on a fly rod, that's a lot of fun. Okay. All right, get you. There we go. Let go. There we got it. There we go, a little bigger, a little better. There we go, another little decent one. All about the same size, guys. They're all about the same. That hold it real close to the camera, that way they look a little bit bigger. What I did here, the switch over, just doing the small Little black green spider, white legs. Seems to work real well. Of course, bluegill, a little easier to come by than the crappie. What's that old saying, shooting fish in a barrel? That's almost what this is today. Water's clear enough, I can see the spider out there even though it's underwater. Sometimes I can see it. There we go. Nice little gill. Nice little. They're all males getting ready for spawn. They're all males up here. There we go. Another nice gill. This would be a lot easier out of a boat than on the bank, but we're going to give it a shot and see if we can do it here. If we don't cast very far out, see what happens. Pretty muddy back in here. There we go. Oh, that's a nice little fish. That's a nice one. Let's see if we get a few out of here before we get them all shook up and go and bite. Yeah, that's a nice bluegill again. All right. Moved to a different spot where they weren't so active. There we go. Nice little one. Nice little male. Kind of tight quarters in here, but. Uh, I have to come back with a boat one of these days and work it from the outside. And you know, Bob and I looked at it the other day and thought, boy, this would be a great spot to come in with a boat, fly rods. I didn't want to get the boat out tonight, so I just settled up in the bank.
Well guys, we went out for just a little bit. We caught some bluegill on the fly rod, and I'll tell you what, there's nothing like catching a decent sized bluegill on the fly rod to make them feel a whole lot bigger than they really are. If you have never fished for bluegill or crop or anything like that with a fly rod, if you felt you're a little intimidated with a fly rod, don't be. This is a hey at Walmart to Martin. Picked up at Walmart, I think, for like $35 for the whole thing. I'm probably not casting 20 feet out there and I'm catching fish. It doesn't take much. It's really kind of easy once you get onto it. And I'll tell you what, you can have a whole lot of fun catching small pan fish on a fly rod. So, and there are days when nothing else works that will catch you some fish. It always seems to work that way. But, so if you haven't tried it before, give her a try. You don't have to be an expert. I'm far from an expert. I still catch fish with it and I have a lot of fun. So, thanks for staying with me. Subscribe to our channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.